ways are going to happen, so you got to get over there for those. But um, you'll be able to um, win a set of wheels, and we're also going to be giving away some prize packs. So yeah, yeah, and just out of you know, just because I got to say it, invite your friends. Why not? I mean, it's a party. Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe is it? You guys are behind the scenes, so we're just waiting for the YouTube thing to go live. So again, uh, if you have any questions and stuff. Uh, I would recommend just doing that stuff through YouTube. It's going to be easier, plus you'll be more eligible. Uh, looks like we're heading live. We're going live soon. I think. Maybe. Possibly. We're possibly going live soon. Let us know, Max, if if, um, if we're live yet on YouTube, just because we can't see anything on the screen. Good to go, boys. Is it on live on YouTube? All good. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't know what that means. Are we live right now? I don't know. Oh, we're right. live. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Wheels Launch and Giveaway right now on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I am Luis from Koenig Wheels, and this is... Yeah, I'm Scott. We know that. They're not here for us. Okay. They're here for the goodness that's they going... No, they're not here for oh, you. Okay. They're not here for you. So uh, let's go over what's going to happen in this live event. Okay. Uh, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So one hour time kind of starting right about now. What we're going to do is we're going to go through each one of our new wheels in depth, turn it around, show you all the different uh, you know, aspects, angles of the wheel. We're also going to have some B-roll. We're going to show you some shots. We're going to show you different finishes. We're going to answer some questions. We're going to talk about specs. Listen, specs and all these different images and stuff, a lot of this stuff is already on our website, koenigwheels.com. So it's super important that if you are looking for something really specific, just head over there, click on the wheel page, and you'll be able to click at the specs tab at the top, and that will load the different specs. But this, this hour yeah. is about showing you the wheels in person and allowing you guys to talk or you know ask questions or comments specifically about the wheels, maybe why we did certain things, maybe why we're intending to do certain fitments or, or finishes. Um, and we're going to answer all that stuff here. So uh, that's good. And we're going to start we're right now. We're going to start it off? Yeah, let's, we're ready. All right, right so it. we're going to go so right into the so first Just wheel. so we're clear, well, the, uh, obviously, we will be doing little prize packs and giveaways. And the, there is a wheel set of giveaway. There is a set of wheels that we're going to give away um, during this hour. So we'll tell you all the details for all of that. But again, we're going to do it throughout the hour. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, stay tuned. There you go. All right. All right, first and foremost, we want to introduce to you, if you haven't seen it just yet on our website, yep. this is the Koenig Diverge. Yep. It's part of our mainline wheels. Uh, tell us a little bit about this wheel, Scott. Yeah, so the Diverge is, a, is the end of our mainline. Uh, so what this means is it's not a close one wheel. But what's cool about the Diverge is, one, it's got a really tiny switch on both sides. Uh, you know, we've done plenty of wheels that are very popular, like wheels like the Overseer. They work on a lot of different vehicles. We have a lot of different range. The wheel is going to go from 16 all the way through 19 inch in diameter. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to check this paper because when you have as many wheels as we do, you just want to make sure that you're 100% on board with making sure that we're right here. So Neoporn uh, Diverge. Yeah, 16 inch through 20 inch. All right, so 20 inch. So 16, 7 and a half, 17, 8, 18, 8, 18, 19, 8 and a half, 19, 9 and a half, 28 and a half and 20. 28 and a half. That's it. You know, it's 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 weird when you do something live mm -hmm. with multiple people. Yeah. Because I can hear the the background of what's going on behind uh -huh. the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. different than just doing the lives that uh -huh. we always do. So just a real quick before we even get, get further yeah, into yeah, this. Yeah. We do Q&A, regular Q&A lives every Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern on Instagram and Facebook. So if you're looking for questions that maybe don't have anything to do with these new wheels, I would say, please feel free to come back to any one of those. We've been doing them for years now. We're always there every Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern on Instagram and Facebook. And you can come here and ask a bunch of questions. So uh, that's the time for this. But anything with wheels, put them in. And we're going to start answering to the best of our ability. Rich is back there piping a whole bunch of stuff in. So we'll look at that. Again, um, this is out of our mainline wheel. Split five-spoke wheel called the Diverge. Comes in only plus black. 16, 7 and a half, 17, 8. Uh, 18, 8 and a half, uh, 19, 8 and a half, 28 and a half. That's where you're at. This is going to be available for the most popular passenger vehicles. In addition to that, it does have an extra load rating, so it will work on a lot of the different EVs that are coming with some of that extra bulk weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, yes. Cool. So, um, 
yeah, that's that's what this wheel is all about. You can see it's got a really nice thin spoke look. It's got a recess uh, that goes around the spoke window. Yeah. And this keeps the appearance that the wheel is light, it's clean, it shows off brakes well. It also gives that feeling like the wheel is not super overwhelming or cumbersome, yep, you know? Yep. So, you know, that's that's really what, what the what the Diverge is all about. Um, and I just wanted to mention also some of the PCDs that is going to be coming in uh, are 5 and 108, 5 and 100, 5 and 112, 5 and 4 and a half. Uh, and yeah, those are the ones that we're doing right now. We're doing five spoke with this with this wheel. Yeah, it comes in a gloss black finish, as as you can see. Obviously, the reason why we call it gloss black is because literally you can see it shining. And honestly, dude, I think these will look good uh, in in what you got going on over there, yeah. man. So let's do a few questions on the Koenig Diverge. Mm -hmm. um, somebody said, uh, "Well, this is not about the Diverge. I'm going to kind of push past that. We okay. will get back to okay. this stuff." Um, they were asking about the Forge program. I will talk about that, but um, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, are there any new wheels that are going to be released in 5 and 105? At this stage, I don't believe that there is. However, maybe that's something we'll circle back around to. That's just a drill, and that's something we probably could do. So um, let's not rule that out yet. Um, show different offsets, too. Yeah, yes. we're going to show some different offsets, but remember that when you start talking about wheels that are going to have a single or singular profile, Maybe most of these offset changes, they're going to be very minor and they're going to usually be in the PCD area down here. So the depth will change. So if there's a significant offset change or something that would change a spoke profile, we'll absolutely do our best to show it. If it's going to be something where, like, you know, this is going to be a, a little bit deeper, uh, we're probably not going to uh, show that to you. Show different results. Uh, let's see. If wheels don't have an A and B profile, are they all similar and concave like the eight and a half ten? Yeah, so so that's a good question. So when it has to do with um, profile or concavity changes, they if you're going to have one one um, one profile, they would all be the same. But mm -hmm. remember that this is not a flow form wheel, which means yep. that if there was a size change in this, there would be a change at some yep. level. Yep, yep. But there's not six uh, sixteen seven and a half seventeen eight eighteen eight and a half. Uh, uh, 19, eight and a half, 28 and a half. Now question, just because you will know, is this cap specific to just the, the Diverge or is this just an excess, you know, what is it just specific to this wheel? So, so this cap is actually used on a Diverge. We use it on a wheel called oh. the Nintendo. So we, we use it, um, I think it's the same size as the Run Light with a different logo. Okay. Um, we use it, we use it on a few different cap, uh, a few different wheels. The cap look, the cap is a really clean cap. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah, super yeah. easy, not something that's going to require any maintenance. Yeah. Um, and that's that's part of the, the benefit. This is a plastic popping cap, but it's not going anywhere. It does have a steel ring that inserts behind it to keep the tension tabs taut. All right. So, so what do you think? We have any uh, any questions that are specifically? Rich is piping in faster than I can that's get That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I'm glad that All you guys right, are see. asking the questions. And keep popping them in, man. We're going to try to answer as much as we can while we're doing it. But... Just to like let you guys know, these uh, it's ranging on an offset between like 30 to 40 offset when it comes to this wheel. Yeah. Obviously, make sure that you, like if you're going to be wanting to get these wheels, yeah. that's why we have the KoenigWheels.com where we have all the specs that you're going to need. Unfortunately, we wish we could rattle them all off right now, but it'll take us another but it's on, five minutes. But it's, to but, it's, but it's on the website. <laughs> exactly. KoenigWheels.com, click on the Diverge picture and you'll be able to uh, click on the specs tab at the top and all the part numbers are listed. There you go. Hey Max, if you hear us, can you throw the monitor up so we can see what's going on? That would be, that'd be cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, Kyle Peterson, uh, if wheels don't have an AMB profile, we already did that. Ju all right, so do new wheels have to be certified by DOT or NHTSA? Also, does Koenig use IATF standards? Um, in North America, pretty much all, um, all uh, standards are voluntary. Mm. Uh, now we make sure that every single one of our wheels uh, meets or exceeds J, uh, an SAE standard J2530. So um, that's here for, the, for North America. While we're doing that, if we intend to sell a wheel uh, in Japan, a lot of times we will do VIA JWL. Um, if we were somehow se selling the wheel into, um, let's say, Germany or the Germany area, then you would see TUV uh, be part of it. Max, are you able to put that monitor on? Um, so, so that's kind of the answer to the standards part. Yeah, yeah. But um, it depends. Every project's a little bit different. NHTSA doesn't require any any specific wheel certification. There, I don't 
that doesn't exist at this stage. So, you know, there's that. Um, let's see, if everybody wants to do a color change, how do you suggest we do it? So to do a color change, really on a lot of these wheels, what you're gonna really wanna do is either have them done at a local wheel refurbisher or maybe somebody that, um, you know, any, any place that's well-versed in the body shops. Yeah. Any place yeah. that's well-versed in being able to give you a proper finish with paint. Uh, we can't necessarily recommend powder coating. However, yes. we acknowledge that pretty much it's something that everybody's yep, do. Yep, yep. Yeah. So, so there's that. Will different, will additional co colors be offered in Diverge? At this time, it's only going to be available in gloss black. Um, you know, you'd be surprised how many people still want gloss black. Yeah. So there's that. 501-0843, absolutely. That will be available in Diverge as well. Um, and as far as some of the mini colors things, uh, sorry, mini truck things, yes, absolutely. Um, we have some stuff going on, but I don't know if it's the right type of product. So send us a message uh, later and we'll try to answer you up. Cool. Colors for the Diverge, wait for the Diverge, all that other stuff available on the website. Please go over to KoenigWheels.com, uh, click on wheels, click on the, uh, on the Diverge that you'll see, and you will be able to find out all the specs for it. Yeah? Let's swap up. Yeah? All right. Yes. So while we do that, actually, I think it's time for us to do a gear pack giveaway. So this is actually something special that I'm excited to do because we're going to basically do a question. And this is kind of on the one of those things that, um, how well do you know Koenig? So I'm going to ask this question and the person that answers it first, and the, it's the first comment that answers it, wins the gift, uh, the, uh, what is it? The gear pack that we're calling it. Gear okay. Pack. So the question is, Oh, wait, yeah, show them the gear pack. Look at that. Keep going, because oh, you're already 16 minutes in, and you're going to lose. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so, what is Scott's infamous saying about wheels? Again, I'm going to ask that question. What is Scott's infamous saying about wheels? We got the first person that answers got that shirts. question shirts. wins himself a gift pack over here that we got going on. A gear pack, sorry. Gear pack. You're Shirts, gonna get a bunch of stuff. You're gonna hats, look at this. You get a hat. Decals. You get some you get a little patch going on. Look at that. You get yourself I don't know why you need some the of these. You get know a lanyard. Anyhow. Got a bunch of cool little gear stuff pack, that you're getting in pack, there. Gear pack. Make sure once you answer that, we're gonna basically send you a message and we're gonna need your name and address and also your t-shirt size so we could send that over to you. So what is the infamous saying that Scott says about wheels? answer that question and now we're going to go to the next wheel yeah we could have picked a different saying that you know i mean a different question but you know to each their own i guess anyhow um so the next wheel up is going to be the hexaform i believe so here look the hexaform came out last year um oh, and because of that okay. we're going to quickly show you a new finish in the hexaform and that is white so gloss white is new for this year wow it's really white and then it goes blue all right, so we're gonna have to be a little, <laughs> we're gonna have to be gentle because we're on a green screen here, <laughs> and so if I turn the wheel, I lose it. This is not good. Anyhow, um, well, that's a testament to how white it is. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so white it'll disappear on a green screen. So anyhow, so bottom line is hex, uh, hexaform. This is the A profile. Um, I would turn it, but if I do, we lose it. So um, that stinks a little bit, but we'll, we'll do our best here. Um, hexaform in white. This is an A profile. Why don't we swap this out for the B? Oh, you're ready to swap it well, out we already? Can't, I can't okay. turn it. Okay, okay. So I don't know what to we'll say. We'll swap it out. There's... All the specs for the hexaform in white are on the website. All you have to do is go to codingwheels.com, click on to the hexaform, and then you'll see in the part numbers, you'll see which ones have a W at the end of them. Um, we make them in a, a, a pretty generous amount of sizes. And I know it may not be on oh, the website. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's tilting a little bit. Yeah, it's all right. We can put it up I know here it's like not that. on the website. Did we put the 15-inch? No. The, yeah, yeah. So that, there's a special announcement. Actually, we're doing this just because people ask for it and we deliver. That's what we do here. So what are we doing, Scott? What are we offering now? Yeah, so the, hex, so the hexaform um, in the white, uh, it comes in 15, 7 and a half, 15, 8, 17, 8, 18, eight and a half, 18, nine and a half, and 18, 10 and a half with the B profile. This is the B profile. I would love to show you, but I don't know if we're gonna make it. 
I think we're gonna. I think we're actually gonna make it because I saw it before. I tilted it, it this way and it worked. Yeah. All right. So that would be pretty dope. Anyhow, so so the hexaform in white. All the specs are available on our website, except for the 15 inch. We just added that, so that's gonna be probably 90 days out. But a lot of the white hexaforms they're here now. Yep. And you can get them. So. Um, again, 17, 18 inch sizes, they're available. And this is what I'm excited about. That 15 inch, what ball patterns are they come in? The, which one, the 15, the 15 inch? 400. Yes, well, not for me, but for the <laughs> homies that asked for it because there was a few people See, that look, asked we're, me we're, for we're, it. We're, oh, you know what it is? It. It's the light. Oh, hold it's on. me too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do that. I can fix this, I can oh, fix this, oh, I can fix this. There it is. Yeah? All right. Oh, All right, so look. look you can see details this is the, now. This is the B Pro. Oh, my head. Oh. So now we're floating. <laughs> So awesome. I love it. Uh, all right, so here's the B profile right here. And you can see that there's there's a pretty big difference. These are white. This is all in stock right now. So if yep. you're looking for white wheels, this will do it, my man. This will do it. So, all right, we got to move on. Okay. We got all the sizes available. Oh, also, um, there is a winner for the last giveaway. Is that right? Which, Rich, did you message him? Make hold sure on, hold on. He's got a lot of stuff piping in here, so I'm but trying to. But in the meantime, hey Rich, if you if you see if you hear me, a star, when you when you ask us put a winner and just put stars next to it so I can find it. Um, let's see. Let's talk mean... about this real quick. Okay. Um, if big get... brakes don't clear the B profile, will hub spacers remedy the issue? Um, it could, depending on how big of a spacer you run and how much you crash on the spoke by and providing that the protrusion that you're crashing with is in, you know, kind of toward the back of the spoke and it has nothing to do with the height of the brake. Yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. So, um, I, think we're, I think we're good. Why don't we, we gotta keep moving because okay. we're gonna run. Well, did they, did they give you the winner of no. the last giveaway pack? Okay. Don't have I, I know there is one Rich told me, so I will get to it and announce it right here, but there and is Rich a is, And Rich is gonna, we'll, we'll message you um, shortly after, but we'll try to get that that name for you as well. Next uh, up, let's see. Uh, next up, um, I don't know. Why don't we do? Uh, what do you got next? What's what's in the? Let's get. The, yeah, let's do that. So again, we're going to go on to some new finishes that we offered for. Well, right now, um, <laughs> if you didn't know, our beloved um, hypergram is available in go. black. Oh. So. Matte black, uh, this is the Koenig hypergram. Yep. Um, you've seen it, we have it in matte gray. We offer it in, I'm gonna blank on all the colors. Well, we have, we have matte gray, 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 race bronze. bronze. Uh, we have it in uh, um, Oh, the the, car, the carbon carbon center with machine lip. I'm trying to remember all the wheels yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Uh, and we also have it in matte black. So the cool thing about this is that we had a lot of requests for matte black. We did it this year. In addition to being able to doing the matte black, we also added sizes. We had a lot of requests for the hypergram in 19 inch. So if you look right now on the website, you will see uh, the hypergram is available in 19, nine and a half, um, 19, wait, 19, eight and a half, 19, nine and a half, uh, 19, 10 and 19, 11, I believe. I think we also did a 10 and a half, to be honest with you, in some yeah, sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just make sure that I have all the specs in just this color. They're not on here at all. Oh wait, there they are. Yeah, so so we have it in basically eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, um, and you're also going to um, have a few other sizes that are available as well. So check out the website koenigwheels.com, and um, I don't I don't know what just happened. No, no, it's all good. Right. Uh, check out the wheels uh, koenigwheels.com. All the specs are there. Again, just all you would do is go to wheels, flow from wheels, go to the hypergram page, click on the thing, boom, there you go, specs. And just as a reminder, if you're tuning in on Instagram, make sure to go over to our YouTube channel if you want to uh, uh, what is be it? eligible for the giveaways there that we're go. doing that's right now. All the prize packs that we're going to be doing throughout this hour that's speeding by pretty quickly, uh, and all of the and the wheel giveaway that we're going to be announcing and talking about in just a little bit, all of that's happening on our YouTube channel, Koenig Wheels USA. There's a reason that we said to you to get subscribed because we've been saying it for a while. And this is one of those reasons. If you're not subscribed, you're not eligible. So make sure you head over to Koenig Wheels USA on YouTube and make sure that you get uh, subscribed if you're not there already. This is for the Instagram peeps that are out there. All right, so let's move. We're, go we're going away from, uh, from these new finishes well, in the uh, hypergram. 
So I want to do the next gear pack giveaway that we're going to be doing while we're now? changing wheels. Yep, because we, we've we already skipped, uh, been past two wheels and I was supposed to do one right before this oh, one. No, so hold on gonna... a second. This is, I thought we were doing them for just the newer wheels. We can. Do you want to do it? you want to save yeah. it? Okay, we'll yeah, save yeah, it. Yeah, save it. Oh, we're gonna save it. All right, so we'll bring this, this one. We'll be right back. Hold on. All right. So while Luis goes to get another wheel, again, we put in a lot of different sizes and fitments that are new to the Hexaform and to the Hypergram. So make sure you check that out on our website. The only thing that's not on the website that we are going to make is a 15-inch um, Hexaform in white. So that's gonna happen. All right. So let me introduce you to my friend here, the Neoform. So the Neoform in, this is the A profile. So let's just be clear, this is the A profile. In fact, we had a question come in the other day and the question actually had to do with, hey, the new Neoform, what does it look like in the A profile? And so I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. What you're seeing on your screen probably right about now is the B profile and it's pretty dope. So now That's you're seeing the A, the A profile. profile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the A profile has a good amount of concavity to it and I'll wait till it swings back to uh, to the live shop. But basically what happens is we were able to bring the sides of the spoke up here. I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. There uh, we were able to bring the sides of the spoke up here. And this way, when you look at the profile from the side, this center part of the spoke, it really drops down very aggressively into the PCD for mm -hmm. especially for um, an 18 inch or a profile wheel. Yep. Yep. Um, same thing is going to happen on the 19 inch. By doing it like this, again, we're able to give a concave look, but still keep the rigidity that we need to be able to allow for enough brake caliper clearance in the back of the wheel. And this does have massive brake caliper clearance. So you could you could always you could almost see that all the way in the back. I mean, look if you well, we can't see it now because you might be looking at B-roll, but in the back of this wheel, there it is. Uh, you know, if you look at the offset, I mean, there's a tremendous amount of depth on this back pad. So. We've able, this is, would be an A profile. It would fit those big brake cars. This is what you're going to use on the front. Want to do a B? Oh, yes. All right, I know cool. Max has been showing it, yep, but yep, like, yep. let's do some B. Well, of course. We want to see it live, right? That's what we're yeah, doing this for. Hold let's on. Let's do it. Hold on. And when you come back, you can grab the specs. Uh, <laughs> the Neoform is made in 17.8. Yep. 17.8. Uh, do we do, you want to grab that? Yep. Yeah. It's a big boy. Yeah, this is a big boy. I'll tell you, trying to squeeze this in in an hour is like a, is like a, it is hard, it's like right? A marathon. Yeah, yeah, but it's kind of fun. I'm having fun it right is. now. I hope you guys are having fun. And Let if we us go over a few minutes, chat if you're having fun with us right now, <laughs> they're like, we're just here for the giveaways. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so let's look at the Neo Forum as far as the specs: seventeen eight, seventeen nine, eighteen eight and a half. Uh, 18, nine and a half, 18, 10 and a half. That's a B profile. Ooh. Um, 18, eight and a, uh, 19, eight and a half, 19, nine and a half. What size is this one right and here? And also 19, 10 and a half. This one B is, uh, this, this is, this is going to be a 19, 10 18. And a half. No, it's 18, I mean, 10 and a half. Yep. Right. That's 18, what I meant. 10 and a half, 20 offset and a five and four and a half, uh, ball pattern. Yeah. And all the specs again are on our website. Go to conigwiz.com, click on the Neo forum. They're there, but you could see how aggressive this B profile is. Yeah. Like this thing has stupid concavity. I love it, man. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty dope. I mean, it has an incredible amount of concavity. Again, we have that that spoke up on the sides to, obviously to match the front, but the amount of concavity and the amount of movement that this B profile offers is pretty crazy. Now, one finish, mm -hmm. Mac Gray. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've heard I've heard yes, this before. Yes, yes, Why yes. only one finish? Yeah. At the end of the day, there are so many different finishes that we could do. It doesn't mean we won't do more, but yep. at this stage, giving you another black wheel, it's really hard to see details on black wheels. Yes, yeah. So the Mac Gray, when I tell you that we lined up 10 different colors, this Mac Gray looked the best out of all of them by like a mile. Look at this. Look at that concavity, man. I'm it's pretty it. aggressive. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty dope. For five spoke design, I'm in, man. I'm all in for sure. And I get it. There was, you know, when we were out in Formula Drift, a lot of people were giving this thing love, man. They were giving a lot of love to the Neoform. And as we, you know, you get to see it and get close up to it, I can understand why, man. It's, yeah. it's an aggressive wheel, five spoke. You can't go wrong. We brought this, I love clean look, man. We brought this wheel earlier in the year to uh, to Hyperfest, and That's then we right. brought it to Formula Drift. That's right, yeah. Um, so that was interesting. Let's see. A question came in, and it basically says, is it possible to request a PCD offer that's not offered? Yeah, you can absolutely. Listen, I would say the difference between 
us is we really, you know, the way we go live, we go live on our Instagram and our Facebook every Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern. We answer all your questions, regardless of what they are. It's a place you know where we'll be every single week without fail. So uh, we do that. Obviously, we drop pieces of content on our YouTube channel all the time, uh, especially on Fridays. But um, we value your feedback. And there's plenty of things that have happened and plenty of changes and plenty of wheels that we have made just from people coming into the lives or sending us message requests and saying, hey, like, I think a lot of people would enjoy this. Like, look into this. And we do. We go research it. And if there's a demand there, we'll build it. So well, that's perfect, pretty much the deal. Perfect example with the hexaform that we just showed. It, you know, I, there was a few people who asked for the 15-inch sizes. And yeah. boom, we created them. Same thing with the white finish. We, th that was a request that was asked for, from you guys. And we decided to make it. Even the hypergram black was the same thing, man. 19-inch. So... Basically, well, you know, to answer your question, yes, you are allowed to send us over uh, some requests that you have, and most likely, if the if the demand is there, we're gonna follow through. Yeah, the Kona, uh, the Neoform. Do these come in 17 by nine? Uh, they do. Uh, they come in 17 by nine. They're available in 17 nine and five four and a half. So in five and one one four point three, and they're available in a 25 and 40 offset. So 25 and 40 offset, 5, 4 and a half, 17 by 9. All right, you ready for the second giveaway? Yeah, you can give us a So the second pack, giveaway right? for the gear pack, here's the next question. The first person to answer this question in the comments wins this gear pack, which gets you uh, some t-shirts, some cool swag that you could put on straight from Koenig. So the question is, what year did Koenig introduce its first flow form wheels? Ooh. Again, what year did uh, Koenig introduce its first flow form wheel? The first person to answer this question gets a gear pack directly from Koenig. And when we give is it you... the wait, is it the first person or is it Rick will pick out a uh, Rich will pick out of anybody who answers correctly? It's actually the first person. Okay. Yeah, the first right. person who who, who again. If this you're question. on Instagram, all this stuff is happening on YouTube. So go over to our YouTube That's channel. That's right. Koenig Wheels USA, that's where the giveaways are happening uh, throughout this hour that may run a little bit longer than an hour. All right, all right, so, and make sure when we send you over a message, just give us your name, address, and all that jazz, and we'll send it out to you. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's move um, on to the next one. Again, try to try to keep the responses quickly for this stuff, yeah. All right. Thank you, Neoform. So, so while the Neoform is exiting uh, and Luis is coming back with the next wheel, uh, let's talk about uh, a question that came in from Ruther Restoration. What does flow form mean? Well, so here's the thing. We've talked about flow forming technology, probably endless amounts on our, our content. You can throw it up. There are our friends. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. Um, but so, so what flow forming essentially is, is what we do is we cast a wheel at a narrower width than the final result. And what we're, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take that wheel and we're going to spin it. And under heat, we use two dies to essentially extrude out the aluminum barrel. And when we do that, are you mocking me? No, no. <laughs> I just see the peripheral. Uh, and so what we do is when, while we're spinning the wheel under heat, we're essentially using these two dies to compress the, the, uh, the barrel and extrude it out. So what's happening is we're kind of finding some properties in the barrel area that are similar to the forging process because what we're doing is we're squeezing that that barrel, we're compressing the molecular structure of the aluminum, so we're tightening up the grain structure. And as soon as we do that, we're now talking about something where it's going to be able to be stronger, usually on average about 30%. Uh, it's going to be lighter, and it's going to have better elongation properties. And elongation is essentially how much a wheel can bend before it would essentially break. Not a wheel, how much metal would bend before it would break. Why is that important? Because if you're on the street, uh, and if you, uh, you know, stay tuned to some of our uh, podcasts that we do on Wednesdays, you'll see and you'll find out that um, some of these drifters and a lot of the motorsport guys that we use, they'll have, you know, pretty nasty collisions, curb checks, uh, off-track events, maybe even, um, you know, something where they uh, <laughs> ride up onto somebody's car. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Message. So, <laughs> listen, so, so if that happens... Um, these are opportunities where a wheel is going to bend because the sheer stress, if you come over somebody's car, monster truck it down five feet or six feet and bring all that weight onto a wheel, is that you have two choices. Either it's going to break or it's going to bend. A bend allows you usually to retain the bead seat enough that you're not going to have a catastrophic blowout. And that's just reality. You know, I, I hate playing these games where we don't talk about things that 
that are that could potentially really happen in real life. Like, let's not make it all you know roses. He's the best at that. So just to talk a little bit about what he just did. Look, I've worked here for six years, and I will tell you everything about wheels and all that. This man retains so much information about stuff like that. It astonishes me till till this day, man. Well, thank you for still sucking up on camera. I appreciate day. it. Now well, we have proof yeah, of it. Just keep it in funky. You know what I mean? It's the truth. So, anyways, I, let's move on to what we got yeah. going on here, man. This is and this is super dope. Um, this is the Conan heliogram, um, and the heliogram is going to come in two different Ooh. finishes. It's in available in a ma uh, matte bronze, yep. and it's also available in a, a new finish for us, titanium metallic. Yeah. Titanium metallic is absolutely ridiculously sick. I mean, yeah. it's, it, I've been here, I've been with Koenig for over 16 years. I will tell you right now, it is officially my favorite finish. Yeah. I mean, it's so good looking. So let's talk about this as the A profile. Okay. A profile is going to have the most amount of caliber clearance. That's why we do it. You can see it. Um, as you get deeper, somebody said about the offset change. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens is as you go from, let's say, 18, eight and a half to 18, nine and a half, let's say at a 25, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What happens is we gotta, we're going to push that pad in to be able to deal with lowering the offset. Yep. So what's going to happen on this wheel is the face profile is pretty much going to be similar on all the A profiles, what's gonna happen is we're gonna gain the depth into the PCD well here. And when we do that, when we get into the PCD well, um, essentially you'll get this nice depth look here. You could see that this wheel is a split five spoke wheel. It's got really good recesses and I-beam type construction around the inside of the windows here. Um, it comes with a, a flange that has been kind of recessed so that it gives a little bit more rigidity out on the outer spoke. Um, it has um, some cool cuts here and some lightning holes that we have in the center of the PCD. This wheel is pretty inherently light. So one thing that I want to mention and yeah. what makes this different than every other wheel is one specific detail, yeah. which Scott, can you tell them about it? It's called sure. the... You want to grab, grab the other... Oh, we wanna, yeah. we're going to do it on let's, that one. Let's okay. do, yeah, let's do okay. it on the... Um, bring, in that, the bring in the titanium and the, and the B. Oh, the so, titanium, okay. Yeah, so we're going to bring in... Uh, the B profile, and we're going to bring in the other finish because I want to be able to show this to you uh, in a few minutes. And there's something really cool. Okay. You want to start with the B bronze first? No, we can start with that one. What what'd you got there? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Honestly, it's hard. I'm not I'm not a guy that gets super excited oh God, all the time, that. but like this Wait. wheel is crazy. If my you're able to, gonna... yeah, if you're able to run a B profile wheel, this wheel is sick. So. Um, essentially, you could see how much this spoke lays down. I mean, it's got a tremendous amount of caliper clearance. If you use the 18 by 10 and a half, mm -hmm. or if you use the 18 by 12, mm -hmm. that's right, 18 by 12, yep. you're still gonna have that same face profile. We introduced a few new finishes that we were seeing from a lot of our racers, and yep. that has to do with the 18, 18 by 12. Mm -hmm. We have been making 18 by 11s for probably four or five years now. Uh, we have a lot of guys on the track that are running all of our wheels, but especially the 18 by 11s. A request has come from some of these guys that are looking to run even more tire, get into that, you know, 315 range or whatever it may be plus. Yeah. And they want 12 inch wide wheels. So we did it for you. Yeah. Um, this is an 18 by 10 and a half, but 18 by 12, still gonna have the same profile. And what's interesting about all the heliograms, regardless of what size you pick, is we applied a neural bead to the wheel. So this has knurled bead seats. I don't know if this is something that we can see on the camera, and I know we definitely can't see it on Instagram. Yeah. Both, both beads are knurled. By the way, while we're doing this, just to remind everybody on Instagram, if you want to be eligible for the giveaways, make sure to come to our yeah. YouTube channel because I know some of you guys are responding on there and whatnot. Yeah. It's only available on our YouTube channel. Max is free -handed. Max is getting over here, getting a little so, bit close. There yeah, it is. Yeah, so you'll Look see right here. Detail. But uh, this wheel comes, regardless of what size you get, all heliograms have knurled beads. And this is going to prevent uh, tire slippage, especially under high torque applications for motorsport use. So this is going to keep that tire from spinning within the wheel. Um, and you can see... Here we are right here. Boop, boop. Look at that. Think about that. <laughs> you know, this is like weird because it's like QVC, but, but we're not selling anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is a titanium metallic. Um, 
Yep, there we go. Yeah, we're good? All right. This is a titanium metallic. I would say check our website for the pictures and, and stuff like that. It's such a good finish. Yeah, you could, yeah, all right, you're good. Yeah. Um, it's such a nice finish. It has metallic into it. Um, it's not silver. It's darker than silver, and it's lighter than like a, like a graphite. So I'm gonna, because they did request, they want to see the bronze in this concave. No, so. we, we should do that. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. wanted to make sure that we, yeah. that we got through the other finish too. Um, I have I have I have a whole bunch of stuff here, so okay, I'll start. Okay. If you want to if you want to leave this here and then we'll just throw it down here. You want to swap? You want to grab the other one? Yep. Uh, let's see. What additional colors? No, we already did that. Uh, Neoform, we did that. Mm -hmm. Is a flow forming considered cold mm -hmm. forging? Um, not really. No, I wouldn't listen. Flow form is its own process, the same way as casting or forging. So. I wouldn't, I, you know, there's a lot of terms that I think are, are thrown around. Um, you know, I don't want to mention any of them because a lot of them are proprietary for different wheel companies. But flow forming, while it may have, you know, each company may have certain proprietary differences, the one thing that's not different is kind of the process. Um, it still kind of is about the same type of process. Now, some are different, some are more efficient. Um, this, is a, this is a 12. Jesus Christ. You, just in case you were wondering how wide a 12 looks, it's pretty nasty. Um, sorry, so this is the bronze. This is what they wanted to see. We're, we're falling off the edge here. Yeah, That's what's going on. This is because it's a big wheel. It's a big boy. Yeah. All right. So again, this is an, this is an 18 by 12. Um, you're going to notice it has the knurled bead seats. That is there. You can't. I don't know if you can see it, but... That's the deal. Has narrow bead seats. It's going to have a, a lot of room to dip down into this PCD. The bronze is pretty sick. It's a little darker than the, let's say, um, a light bronze like um, an Ampliform. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what I think is so cool about it. And you can really, I can't tell on the screen if we look really white and blue or if <laughs> this is bronze. I promise you. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. I can't it tell. It looks if a that's... little bit different in, per in person, yeah. But you know. It's one of those it, yeah, situations. It's super, yeah, super good looking, and yeah, I mean, you can see that's that's, that's, that's how an it actual looks. picture of it right there too. So, yep. yeah, but that but that's what it looks like in person as well. Yeah, and yeah, man, this is a good looking wheel. So actually, it's one of my favorite wheels that we've actually made to date. You know, so I'm really excited about this wheel, and being the fact that it's 12 inches, I mean, that's insane. Yeah, that, that you and decided we've already, to make. Yeah, and we've already been testing them. Uh, we have some guys like right. some autocross guys like Steve Ancy from yep. Vinny Ten Racing. Yep, yep. Um, he's been running them on his autocross for a few months now. James Houghton has had him up in Canada. He's mm -hmm. running uh, Global Time Attack. He's also running a lot of Greater Life events. Yep. Um, so they're putting these things through their paces, and and so far, everybody's been pretty super happy with them. Now, I will say two things. There's two things about this that I want to say. Uh, First thing is, uh, all the specs, obviously, on our website, coneywheels.com. Um, head over, click on the picture of the heliogram, and you'll be able to find the specs by clicking at the specs tab at the top of the page. But the next thing is, the weights are really good on this wheel. Yep. They're, it's, it's an extremely lightweight wheel. Make sure you look at some of those weights, especially if you were considering doing an 18 by 12. Please look at the weight of the wheel, especially comparing maybe certain other things and then look at the price tag i think you're going to be really happy with with the end result yep um and also let's talk about this new cap oh yeah 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 yeah. so let's talk about a few things the first thing is if you noticed on like wheels like the hypergram and a lot of the other flow form wheels we use a cap that's a metal cap it's a billet cap that actually gets it's screwed, screwed on, on yep. to the to the wheel Mm -hmm. People have said, oh, well, I don't like the screws because, you know, I lose them or my guy over torques them. We understand, but here's the thing. The reason we did the screw cap originally was to make sure that if you were going to be racing with the wheel and you didn't take your caps off, that the caps didn't fly out of the wheel. Yep. That's the purpose of them. Most race series are going to basically say, hey, you can't run caps, center caps in the wheels. And it's because of the reason that once they heat up with all the braking, high braking temperatures, they te generally tend to exit on mm -hmm. one of the turns. So this is a pop-in cap to make it easy, but we didn't want to give you just a simple, basic plastic pop-in cap. This is a real metal cap, and it is a pop-in cap. It's got a hard logo. There's no nothing to stick on. It's an all uh, centerpiece uh, logo here. Uh, has a little flow-formed 
Dealy engraved in the bottom, probably difficult for you to see on camera, but this is a good looking wheel. And uh, again, uh, all heliograms are, have a neural bead on them. Did we mention all the fitments that they come in? I could do that. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I guess, they're, I guess you know, they're here for I mean, the... they're on the website, but yeah, you, know, right. you could actually see it right there, but why not tell you guys what, what size they come okay. in? Uh, in 400, 15.7, 15.8, 15.9, 16.8, um, also comes in 16.8, 4, and 108, and 16.8, 5, 4, and a half. So that's been something different. We haven't really done too many 5, 4, and a half uh, smaller wheels. This time we've done that. And again, all both have neural B seats. That, that's um, awesome. So then you also have 17.8 and a half, 17.9, 18.8 and a half, 18, nine and a half, uh, 18, 10, 18, 10 and a half, 18 by 11, and 18 by 12. Also, that's right. We're not <laughs> that's why I wanted 19, to do this. 19, eight and a half, 19, nine and a half, 19, 10, 19, 10 and a half, and 19, 11. Now, obviously. Don't ever say we didn't make a size for you. That's what right. I'm <laughs> Obviously, not all these sizes are going to be available in every PCD. Yeah. So when we mention a lot of these sizes, it means that there's going to be some made in some PCDs, some made in some fitments, and others not. I, all that information is on our website, koenigwheels.com, and all you have to do is go to the Heliogram page, click at the Specs tab, and if you scroll down, it's going to give you all the part numbers and everything that we have um, on that wheel. So you'll be able to check all that stuff out for yourself. I'm pretty happy with this wheel. I mean, I'm, I'm really, you know, a lot of this stuff, you know, we had talked about this earlier uh, um, on something else that we were doing. We put a, 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 we usually never launch wheels this late in the year. Yeah. Listen, we're, we're, we're a company that really likes to roll with the, with the punches. And one of the punches that's happened when, when the pandemic kind of got a little weird and supply chain things started to happen, we made sure that we put all of our focus on trying to fill back orders because you guys had already given your money for wheels that you wanted to buy. So we did purposely push back production, and it's funny because we usually make wheels uh, about a about a year yep. in advance. Yep. And so it's weird for me to now have these wheels come in when, in reality, I'm you know I I sh you know we we had samples six months ago. Yeah, yeah. So so now seeing them come in and kind of doing it, that's kind of why we did this launch thing to be able to show you kind of the wheels are here. A lot of the wheels are in stock. We have a lot of wheels. Anything was on back order before they came in. They're shipping. They're, most of them are already shipped out. So, um, And for those who have stuck with us all this time as well with everything going on, yeah. we want to say thank you, man. This is why we do these type of things, giveaways yeah. and all that. So thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for your patience. You know, And hopefully we get images of, uh, of your cars with the wheels on there. Yeah. We'll share them and all that jazz. Yeah, so thank you guys. For, for being here with us all this time man, and, and sticking with us while this whole pandemic and situation was going on. Yeah, and I, and I want to say one more thing, like before we, because I know we're going to get into the other pri last prize pack. Li last prize pack. And then we're going to tell again, you about Instagram. You got to Come to the YouTube because yeah. you ne cannot win from Instagram. This is only exclusively to YouTube uh, subscribers. All right. Also, and then we're going to get into talking about the wheel giveaway, which yeah. I'm sure a lot of people why they're here. Yeah. But I want to, first off, I do want to sincerely thank you for uh, for riding with us and coming to this event and doing this whole thing, um, I we if you if this is your first experience with us, if maybe you are not necessarily um, somebody that's followed a lot of the stuff we do, we we do put a lot of content. We work really hard to put a lot of content on our YouTube channel. It's not for money or anything like that. Um, it really is for informational purposes to put stuff out there, to try to be entertaining, um, and you know to kind of have you guys. Uh, be able to learn and, and, and kind of see different aspects of the automotive industry, um, you know, kind of through some of our relationships. So yeah. uh, we hope that you stay. We hope that you subscribe. And, uh, and we hope that, you know, maybe you'll check back every Friday and see which content we make kind of interests you. Uh, and don't forget, we go live every Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern on Instagram and Facebook. And we answer all your questions. And it's one of those things that we've been doing for a few years now. Mm -hmm. Never miss the Wednesday. And the idea with Wednesdays is that we come to you, we give you a place that you know where we will be That's right. every single week. Yep. You Maybe you're not, like, maybe you sent it. We try to answer all questions, comments, messages, emails, but we get thousands of them. Yep. And because of that, sometimes we miss some. You know where we're going to be. 
come ask your question, always. we're always there. Yep, that's yeah. right. And we appreciate your feedback and your support, like seriously, like more than you know. So it means a lot to us that you guys would come in here. So, Let's do the prize pack. You yeah, do before pack? we do uh, the announcement with the wheels give the wheels giveaway. Yep. Uh, we're gonna give away another prize pack, and this is a personal question that I wanted to ask. So whoever answers personal this personal question. No, no, it's not a personal question, but a, <laughs> a personal question, meaning in a sense like I'm excited for this question because Scott doesn't even know what it's gonna be, and I think it's a good one. Scares the crap out of me. So. What was the name of the wheels Jesse's Jetta had on his uh, in Fast and the Furious? What was the name of the wheels Jesse's Jetta had in Fast and the Furious? The first person to answer this question wins a gear pack from us. Make sure once we uh, once we uh, send you a message to send over your name, address, and all that information so we can send that out to you. We also need your t-shirt size so we send you out the right t-shirt, all right? And a quick message from Rich, it's right there. I just want you to be able to read it to yourself. And then if you give me the yay, just go speak to him real quick and make sure we can pull that out. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I think so, but okay. Um, that's, 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 you know, Okay. See what's going on. So, all right. So let's let's answer just a, one more a question. This then is we'll a do. video of Jesse right now. No, Morning. don't show it. We're gonna get copyright <laughs> strike. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Um, Omaha Manning. Uh, sh how often do you see tires spinning on the rim during drag racing? What effects? Yeah. Look. I mean, on drag racing, obviously, it depends on what horsepower your car is set up at. But I will tell you this. Uh, yeah. Of course. I mean, if you look. At uh, beadlock wheels, they've been used in drag racing for decades. In fact, if you really go back, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that know this already, and I'm just preaching to the choir, but in drag racing, back in the day, uh, you know, they used to basic when they had sheet metal wheel, when they had um, regular stamped steel wheels, they used to basically take drywall screws and screw them from the side of the bead, like into the bead of the tire, and that was to keep the tire from spinning on the wheel. So in drag racing, yes, absolutely. Some of these cars, especially in time attack now, they're making, especially like front wheel drive cars um, that are making, you know, a crazy amount of power, you know, when they accelerate, ro you know, they rotate and accelerate out of a turn, a lot of times they, they are experiencing a situation where the tire is slipping on the wheel. So um, we've had this request come in quite a bit. Usually you see uh, knurled beads uh, seats on a lot of our uh, higher end motorsport wheels. And we're just trying to bring increased value all the time with all the product that we put out. Um, so that, again, there's no, no extra special cost on it. This is the wheel cost what it costs. You get that knurled bead seat, use it, don't use it. But either way, uh, it's got your back and trying to help you keep that tire from spinning. Uh, is the heliogram the same color as the decagram? No. So the heliogram is, uh, um, uh, is a darker matte bronze. The decagram is a gloss bronze. The gloss bronze is a little bit lighter. Have one over there. You can't see it. I'm not taking it down. So, so. while we're answering your questions, yeah. we're going to do something very special. We're going to do it differently, but I think it's only fair because you guys came through and we're really appreciative of you guys. We we're going to announce, the, we we're going to actually no, do something we're special. Just yeah. say what we're doing now. All right, cool. So... <laughs> We're going to select a winner of our new wheels right now. The only way to do it is you're going to have to put a blue heart into the comments blue and emoji. also a blue heart emoji into the comments and also your Instagram handle. And also subscribe to YouTube. Yeah. And, and also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. But again, the only way to win the wheels today is actually to put a blue heart into the comments and also put your Instagram handle. Yeah. And we're going to select a winner today. Uh, in just a few minutes. So make sure you drop that in there and we're going to select a winner right here live uh, in the next few minutes. So yeah. make sure so, you drop it now. Yeah, and just to, just to clarify, let me take this from the top. Instagram, you need to be on YouTube. Yep. Second thing is to be eligible or, or in considered, you have to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Despite what you think, we can tell. Yeah. Um, and then in addition to that, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put a blue heart emoji into the comment section on the live the, that you're watching right there. And you're going to put your at handle, you know, your... For Instagram. I'm just... Just because yep. not everybody calls it the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, trying yeah. to make sure. Yep. You know, when you write at on Instagram, put your put your handle in. Tell the guys on Instagram specifically, too. 
Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah, we've, we've said it like a bunch. Instagram, Again, Instagram. it's not on Instagram. It's not it's on Instagram. Be on YouTube. Go to YouTube right now. It's only exclusively to YouTube. There's only going to be a winner selected from YouTube. Yep. Blue heart emoji with your Instagram handle next to it. And then we're going to select a winner from that today. Yep. And we're going to answer it at the end of this live stream. Yep. That's crazy, man. I hear them yelling things. I just don't know what they're saying. They're just hype. They're hype like we are, man. Is that what's happening? I think so, man. We said, yeah. we, haven't we said yeah, that like yeah, six yeah. times? Yep. You got to be subscribed. <laughs> Listen, let's run through one more time. I just yeah. don't want to have people tell me we didn't yeah. say this. You have, to be, you have to be on YouTube to be able to be eligible for the giveaway. One. You have to be subscribed to our channel, Koenig Wheels USA. Two. You guys are watching it. You guys, if you're over here putting anything in, you got to go to YouTube. <laughs> the next, you got to put in the blue heart emoji into the comment section, and you have to use your Instagram handle um, right next to the blue heart emoji. And what we're going to do is we're going to select um, one person. Again, I want to go through what's eligible here. Yep. And it was we put this up a million times. Yep. Uh, you know, in different social social pieces that we put up, but there is rule, there is conditions that yep. we have up on our website, coningwheels.com, in the news section, where we say it's available to people in the continental U.S. only. I understand. We're working on trying to get another one geared up that's going to be more international. So if you're here from international, I apologize for that. Um, if you were selected for one of the prize packs, we're still sending that out. Yeah. It's just the wheels. Getting them places with customs right now is a very difficult thing when you don't put a value on them. And I, we don't want people to get stuck with VATs or any taxes that would be difficult for them to kind of be responsible to pay for. We just don't know people's positions. So until we That's can right. clear that hurdle, we're just not there yet. And we are working on it. And when we announce the winner, because maybe you logged off and you're not here anymore, oh. you have about 24 hours to right. answer. If you do not answer in 24 hours, we are moving on to the yeah. next person that we're right. gonna be selecting as well. So yep. we're gonna give you we're gonna give you the live person right here live and tell you who it is, but you have 24 hours to answer from that point on. Spell your Instagram handle very carefully because we're going to message you. Oh. And you have 20. And we might mess it up. Hours. We might <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not going to mess it up. Meaning like the, the, the way that we announce their name, if it's a weird name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that we might mess up. Okay. Yeah, and also obviously in that 24 hours, check your, uh, your Instagram uh, filters. Check Everything. your messages that, you yep. know, request request filters and all yep. that crap. I know I get them stuck in there. I don't want to see anybody miss out just because of that. Um, let's see, we got four minutes and it's about time to do this giveaway. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna check and see if there are any, oh. Hey, thanks for all the people that started to follow me out of nowhere on Instagram. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly, all of a sudden, there's like all these people. Anyhow, if you're looking to follow me, I guess you can go there, Scott underscore Koenig. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty boring, so I don't know that that's what you want to do, but if you want to, uh, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, was uh, Heliogram... All right. Let's answer a couple questions, and then hopefully by that time yeah. we have a... Uh, is Rich Rich doing the yep. choosing? Yep. All right. So Rich is right now. Again, why don't you... Um, let, me, let me see. Let's do a question, and then we'll reiterate it one more time. Yep. Give Rich about two more minutes, yep. and then we'll, we'll do it. Um, was the Heliogram A... You just showed eight and a half inches wide. Uh, I believe it was. No, wait a minute. That's not true. It might be nine and a half. But either way, the profile and the look of it would be pretty much identical. Uh, so if that's one of those things that you are... 18, eight and a half. Yep. Good yeah. call. Yep. All right. So 18, eight and a half. It's a good eye right there. Okay. Yeah, Let's it was see. 18, eight and a half, um, the A profile. Uh, and yeah, it was in the bronze heliogram that he was asking for. Yep. Right. Is the heliogram same color as decogram? I answered that already. Um, so again, the probably this is probably closer if you have the hexaform mm -hmm. um, in matte bronze. This is probably closer to that. It's a hair darker, but um, it's a really good looking finish. And I wish I can show you the details. It's got a little bit of metallic in it, but mm -hmm. it is a matte finish. Uh, super dope. Man, you know, I just I'm super impressed with the way this finally came out. This is a really, really, really good looking I agree, man. wheel. 18 by 12 has a really good look to it, um, and I, I'm pretty excited about it. Now, for the new people that are on here, yeah. let's say they wanted to get themselves a set of this, how do they do that, Scott? Well, I mean, <laughs> you should get to a retailer. There you go. No, look, yeah, so uh, look, all these wheels, a lot of them are in stock, a lot of them are, if they're not in stock, they're, they'll be here in days. 
Um, and anything that came in, we obviously, I know that there's three part numbers that we completely wiped out of mm -hmm. the moment that we got them. Yep. Uh, because we back ordered, they back order just so fast. So yep. back orders are important. They hold your place in line and they allow people to um, kind of get their set reserve, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And we honor them in kind of the first come, first serve order. We obviously don't sell to the public, so you would have to find a retailer. We have a dealer locator on our website, conigwills.com. Uh, then click on the dealers tab and you can put your new zip code, look for an online retailer. Even if you're outside the US, all that information is there. Um, and you have some really great people and really great retailers that are there to help you. And if you, for some reason, don't see it on their website yet, which I think most of them have it there, just give them a call. They can get the wheels. It's not a big deal. Um, and again, we're, we're super appreciative for you hanging out with us. Uh, we are going to announce the person that is going to win the set of wheels. I think Rich is choosing that right now. He's trying to take everybody that puts the hearts in um, really quick by that 4 o'clock. Well, right now. So everybody who's got the hearts in, uh, he is right now going to try to put them into a randomizer. So just because we're trying to be fair, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. give him about where we have another about another five minutes that we're going to announce the winner. Just because we want to be fair, we want to make sure that we are actually selecting someone randomly. We don't want to just, you know, uh, make it unfair. So yeah. stay tuned. We're, in five minutes, we're going to announce the winner. Yep. Uh, but so every, real quick. Yeah. Because I, I just want to make sure as many people know as possible, if you are on Instagram, you need to be on YouTube to be eligible to win. Because I know someone, I know one of y'all is commenting in there talking about, hey, I want to win the wheel. Da -da -da -da. All right. Dropping blue hearts. The last thing. We obviously, love you for it. We love obviously you for it, none of these things are associated with YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Meta or the little aliens that put social media into other countries' hands. None of that stuff. We don't. <laughs> it's not nobody got involved this we just wanted to give a set away uh, give right. away a set of wheels it's completely at random it's fun uh again as long as you're in the continental us you follow the things we just posted up before you are in good shape um again instagram make sure that you go over to youtube and in the next few minutes we're going to be drawing our winner so all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to youtube make sure that you are in the continental us make sure that you subscribe to youtube our youtube Conan Grills usa Make sure that you put a blue heart in the comments section and you put your, uh, your Instagram handle. We will notify you, within, uh, we'll notify you very shortly. Yep. And even then you after have whatever. 24 hours 24 hours to reply. Uh, and then we'll talk to you about which wheels are going to be Now, let's say, let's say you're the wheel giveaway winner, Scott. Mm -hmm. What can they choose when they, when they are our winner? Yeah, you can choose any set of wheels that's, that's available um, from us. If you want to choose one of the new wheels, that's fine. Um, we don't do anything crazy. I would suggest that you pick something that's in stock and we will walk you through that. We right. will help you find that and find what's right for your car. Uh, but um, the reason I say in stock is because uh, we don't want to give somebody something and then they're waiting. So we have a lot of choices. We have a lot of options. You know, we'll, we'll help you walk through that and we'll make sure that you can find something that will really work for your car and you'll be happy with it. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, agreed. So Instagram, again, last chance. If you're, trying to get out, if you're trying to get entered into this giveaway, you need to be on YouTube. It's happening on YouTube, not Instagram. Go over to YouTube. In the meantime, I'd like to say we could take some questions, yeah. but my issue is going to be that They're coming in I don't hot, know if I can huh? see them. I don't know. I'm going to go, go check now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hop onto uh, YouTube and Rich is in the process of taking all the people that are that are in there. Yep. Um, yep. I think he's gonna cut it off like momentarily. Yep. He's gonna, he's putting them into a randomizer and he's going to select them and uh, he'll give us that name just in a, a few minutes. And also, so, if you like what we're doing here today, man, look, listen, we this is we're doing it on the whim. It's one of the first time that we've ever tried something like this ever. A, you know yeah, I mean? live giveaway event. Yeah, live yeah. giveaway event ever. But if you like what we're doing here, make sure to let us know in the comments because we'll do it again. The more the more feedback we get and positive feedback you, we get from you guys, the more we want to do it again. And uh, we're just excited that you guys are here hanging out with us, obviously checking out the new wheels. That was the purpose of this live. And uh, hopefully you guys are digging the new wheels because not only that, next year is a new year and we're going to be coming out with other wheels. And if this is something yeah. that you like us, well, you like that we're doing, we'll yeah. do it again next year. And we'll do well, and not giveaway. even just next year. You know, we have done five wheel giveaways so far this year. This is our fifth one. Yeah. If you haven't heard about any of them, it's because you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel. We've been saying this pretty much all year long. So looks like Rich has, a, that's it. Rich has made the call. 
So what I want to do real, real quick is um, I saw a couple comments in here. Let me get to them. Um, can I get them signed if I win on a spoke? Hey, listen, Ir Irvin, I don't know who you want to sign them, but absolutely, no problem. <laughs> uh, next thing, uh, somebody said something about it was Mitchell. Uh, you said something about you made a mistake when you put your handle in. If the winner is Mitchell, I promise you what we will do is we will go back and try to look for the correct thing when we send you the message. Um, if you're in Canada, but you also have an address in the U.S. that you could send to... Um, yes. Yeah. If you have an address that we can send the wheels to and you're going to go pick them up, absolutely. You're, yeah, you're we, can, we, can, we can make that work. But just don't expect us to be able to have like any invoices or anything. <laughs> That's where it starts to get really yeah. complicated because yeah. there's no invoice because, well, you know. Uh, let's see if there's any other questions. Uh, remove duplicates before you enter. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why it was taking Rich so long. So just to just to be clear, Rich has has selected a winner, and that's exactly what he did. Um, I love. I hope you keep dropping Easter eggs in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try, um, and we're gonna try. Listen, like I said, you know, for the people that maybe are new to this channel, uh, you know, listen, I I appreciate you guys coming through this whole thing. And I also uh, encourage you to maybe click that subscribe button. We're trying to do more and more of this stuff. And like for, for, for now, two years, every Wednesday we put up a podcast and we also go live for an hour before mm -hmm. the podcast, 2 p.m. Eastern on Instagram and Facebook to answer any questions that you have. We are always there. Your, your support is so appreciated by us that we just can't express it. And we try to give back as much as we possibly can. We're super reachable, we're super approachable. Um, and it's important It's important to be there uh, for you the same way you guys have been for us, so. And if you're following us on social media, you know that we're doing other things as well. When I say that, we're adding accessories for you guys as well that you're welcome to oh, check yeah. out at store.conigwheels.com. Wanna... Yeah, so so here's here's a couple things that we have coming down the pike, right? Yes. Um, do we have, we have the cafe, right? Let's see. Let me see. Um, oh, we have is. on, if you go, on store.koenigwheels.com right now, mm -hmm. uh, we have a little store. We don't sell wheels there. We may be starting to put some blowout and closeout stuff on there, yep. but but for the most part, it's accessories. It's places where you can get your replacement center caps and some screws and uh, some merch. You could buy shirts and merch hub rings. there. We have a line of hub rings it's, that's got tension tabs. We put videos up on that on our YouTube channel. Go check those out. Uh, metal hub rings for, uh, for aluminum hub rings for those guys that are looking for motorsport stuff, anodized stuff, really sharp looking stuff. Um, but we also came out, I know a lot of people have been talking about uh, having some accessories for their current flow form wheels. So any of the wheels, you got to back up a little bit. There you go. Um, any of the wheels that have the, uh, the flow form screw on cap, uh, we made it in a red logo and you also can get an optional silver cap here. So the red logo would be something that... Um, you know, you could buy separately, and the silver cap you could also buy separately. So if you want to run this, the red cap, the red center with the black cap that you have, uh, that's totally fine. We are also going to be coming out with a really cool limited edition commemorative um, ceramic wheel ceramic coating kit. Should we show them? Should we? What do you want to do? Yeah, let's Go. do it. All right, and All right. then we got, and then we giving away the, the the wheels. Okay. Sorry, I know people are probably getting upset. You're like, what the heck, right? Um, Thank you. Yeah, spamming doesn't get more entries. We put them all in. Uh, we got it. I know. So check it out, guys. Scott, ready? Yeah. That's it. It's going to be here. Just rotate it around a little bit. Yeah, so we have this commemorative uh, ceramic coating kit that's going to be coming out real soon. Um, and you're going to be able to have your ceramic coat yeah. and your prep. We're uh, looking really, at ourselves a little bit, guys. So that's the reason, because there's a little really nice here, applicator. So we can, <laughs> yeah, right. can see ourselves. A really nice We're applicator. We're making sure that we, yeah. And under it are two microfiber cloths that you can use for application. Uh, this is enough to do uh, a set of 24-inch wheels. It's also enough to do 15-inch wheels almost twice. So if you have a couple sets, you should be you should be in really good shape. It might even do some 17-inch wheels twice. Um, but so that's coming down the pike. Again, all that stuff will be... Yeah, we'll drop uh, more info on it as we get a little bit more solid yeah. with, the, with what, what's going on. But yeah, we just wanted to give you guys that are here with us a, a sneak peek of what's going on behind the scenes as well. Because we're trying to do more stuff like this. You know, a lot of people have asked us for things like this, and that's the reason why we're delivering it. But in the comments below, just make sure you drop. If there's something else, that, if you already have a set of Koenig wheels and you'd like to see maybe 
uh, some spoke decals or a different type of t-shirt or whatever it is, drop it in the comments and we'll take that into consideration because we're trying to do it all, man. Yeah. And so somebody asked me, you know, who's that, who does the, the, the ceramic coating kit? We wanted to go to one of the best. We went to G-Technic mm -hmm. and they, they provided it for us. They helped us really kind of get that, um, that project up and running. So what you're getting is a really, really, really uh, nice kit and a great product. Let's do this wheel giveaway. All right, Listen, so it's time. For last, last time, I'm going to say thank you. Our, thank we you. We appreciate you guys so much, and uh, and we hope that you'll be kind of hanging out with us more. So we thank you for your, your subscribership. And we'll just to emphasize for the, for the friends and homies that are in their Instagram, the only way that you were able to win this, uh, to, to enter this giveaway is through our YouTube channel. So if you're dropping blue hearts, it doesn't mean anything, just giving us <laughs> love. But we appreciate it all right right so the winner that we have and i'm gonna uh mind you i'm gonna spell it out and also say it because it's not really it's a it's a different type of name so it's at s w l r v i n underscore b r z can we say okay again the winner is at s w l r v i n underscore b r z we're going to be messaging you via our Instagram handle, Kony Wheels oh, USA. He wants you to, Nax wants you to show the postage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back Wait, up. Oh, oh, there we go. That's you. So that's the winner right there. Congratulations. Uh, and the state-of-the-art really... post-it that we wrote it on. You know what I mean? Wait. At S W L R. Oh, that might be a capital I. It might not be an L. It might not be an L. It might be an I. Well, just wanted to let you know, you guys see it firsthand how we've written it, but at S-W-L or I, R-V-I-N underscore B-R-Z. We're going to message you via Instagram, all right? And you have 24 hours to respond. If you do not respond in 24 hours, is, we're going to move on to the I'm next like person trying, that we have chosen. I'm trying to scroll through to see who that is, but there's so many comments that I don't know if I'm going to reach it. Well, maybe you can go to Instagram and see if you can find them. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, do, that. I'll do that when we get out of here. We'll message, we're going to message you either way. Uh, All right. And so there's that. Um, let's see. Thank you guys so much for coming on here. It means it means a, a great deal to us. And um, we're going to do more of this. So if you like this, make sure you throw us some love. Ke keep subscribed. Make sure we drop a piece of content every single Friday on our YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of it's informative. A lot of it's fun. Some of it's fun. Some of it's more informative. You get the idea. Yep. Uh, there he is. He answered. He answered just now. So again, congratulations. I'm, I'm assuming your name is Irving. Congratulations to you. Uh, and thank you for oh. being here with us. I might be delayed. Uh, make sure at the end of the day, we're still going to message you on Instagram. So make sure you answer that in 24 hours. Even though you're on our YouTube channel, we still want to get your information to send you out what you need. Also let us know what wheels you need, what specs, all that jazz, and what wheel design you want to go with. And we're going to send that out to you. Uh, and yeah, again, guys, thank you guys for yeah. being here with us. We're really appreciative. It meant a lot that you're here. Whoever's here, it means a lot to us. And hopefully, if you're digging us this, make sure to let us know in the comments. And we're going to do it again, man. I think we're going to do it again just because I had fun already. You know, I, I really had a good yeah. time with this. And hopefully, you got to, as far as the wheel launch, you got to see some of the specs and some of the finishes that you wanted to see. And uh, you learned a little something about the wheels if you decided to get them. Yeah, we're, like I said, we have, we have a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in the plan. I w did say I'd mention about the Forge program. That's right. So I want to end with that. Uh, Forge program has been had been pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. A lot of that has to do with the rising aluminum cost. Mm -hmm. It got to, to a point where we were like uncomfortable releasing it at some of the pricing that we were going to be. Uh, that started to get a lot better. And a lot better is relative. It started to get better. It's reasonable to a certain extent. So basically what we're going to do is... Um, our plan now is we're going to take the designs that we had developed almost a year and a half ago. Uh, they will be debuting at SEMA this year. So at SEMA this year, we're going to debut them. Uh, we'll go live for sure. We'll put up content about them. And then the program and the website will probably be sh up there shortly, um, probably right, right around the first of the year coming up. Uh, and then you'll be able to kind of access them and order them. And all the details will be there for how to find them and which dealers are going to be able to help you out. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Listen, thank you so much for for coming along with us. Uh, if you have any questions, always feel free to send them along. Don't forget that we go live every Wednesday on Instagram and Facebook at 2 p.m. Eastern to be able to answer your questions, whatever they may be. Uh, and we're usually live for about 30, 45 minutes. And the last thing too, shout out to the homies, uh, uh, Greg, Bucell, 
Uh, Nick oh, yeah, Novak, Speed Academy, Speed Academy, Chris BS for BS for Build. Build. Thank you guys for helping us out with this one. Also, into, also um, Rag Company. The Rag Company and also, um, uh, oh my God, the Prospect Driver. Oh, Human, Human yep. Rahimi, Human thank Rahimin. you. Actually, Rahim. they're doing, Human a few Rahimin. of them are doing their own giveaway packs stuff that you yeah, can so check, check out Yeah, so check out their, their channels because they may have a prize pack for you. So, um, yeah, listen, like I said, we appreciate everybody so much. It really is, it means a lot to us, your support. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with us. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you continue to check out that content. Enjoy our community. We enjoy you. Uh, and we will see you, hopefully, next, next week. One.